Hi, I'm doing a uh, video response to the I'm Christian Unless You're Gay video that's been on YouTube lately and has been pretty popular. Um, and if you haven't seen it, you're not going to know what I'm talking about, so you should go watch that first. But first of all, Dan was the person that made the video. I just want to talk to you personally. Um, I can tell that you're genuine in what you say and that you honestly believe what you're what what you said in your video. So I'm going to respond as gently as I possibly can to what you said. So first of all, I want to I just want to share with you where you're 100% right. For any Christian who shapes their life around the word of God and genuinely tries to follow what it says, there is no place at all to not treat people with love regardless of what situation they're in. That's just that's completely beyond the Christian message and I just want to give you a few examples of that in the first place. Uh, 1 Corinthians 6 9 to 11 it lists uh, a number of different sins that people commit and, and saying that those people are not going to enter the kingdom of heaven but the way that it finishes is this it says such were some of you but you were washed you were sanctified and you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ so even if we're standing up for what's right even if we're standing up for the truth we still have to keep in mind the simple fact that we were in that same place and without Christ we are still in that same place so there should never ever be a feeling of superiority to anybody regardless of where they're at in their life that is completely unchristian so Obviously, there you're right. And another example, First uh, Peter 3.15, it says, But in your hearts, revere Christ as Lord, always being prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give a reason for the hope that you have, but do this with gentleness and respect. So even if you're standing up for what the truth is, you still have to do it in a way that people are going to recognize that you are gentle in what you say and you're not yelling at them or condemning them to hell like you mentioned the Westboro Baptist Church in your video and what they what they stand for um, and to be honest showing love is difficult for Christians because you're trying to find this balance between admitting and realizing the reality that sin exists while at the same time showing love to people and that's at the heart of the Christian message is that Sin's a reality, love's a reality. How do you find the balance between the two in pointing out sin in a loving way? Um, but I just want to say that the reality of it being difficult for us, or you know, not just for Christians, but for everybody to show consistently and constantly show love, it doesn't mean that we're bullying or being hateful or mean-spirited in any way. Sharing the truth with somebody is honestly the most loving thing you can possibly do. And I know that you, you said in your video that people may make the argument that, well, I have the truth. And you went on to say that it doesn't matter because somebody somewhere is going to believe that you're wrong and you still want to have respect and, and expect to be loved even if your views are different from somebody. And I, I understand what you're saying with that, but I also want to point this out that if truth doesn't matter... If it doesn't matter if you have the truth, then to be completely honest, why does what you say have any value in your video? Unless you're standing, and obviously you believe that what you say is truth, and unless you're standing for what truth is, you aren't saying anything. If we aren't fighting to, to realize what truth is and to share that with other people, What's the point of having any debate about anything? We debate and we argue because we believe that we have truth. Truth is the most important thing we can possibly seek in life. So truth does absolutely matter. I, I completely disagree with you on that. If we're not looking for truth or not seeking it, us arguing about anything is completely meaningless. <clears throat> and I wanted to, to respond to what you said about love, um, and that's the... The biggest part of this video you said that love is a central theme in every major religion and that's that is partially true but I want to point out one very important thing that it's the expression of love in those different faiths that's completely different from faith to faith so the definition of love 
and all these different religions is entirely different. So you don't have this set theme. People may say, show love here, and, and then, you know, in Christianity, say, show love, but they aren't the same. They're completely different definitions of what love is. And as far as Christianity, and every Christian that's that's watched this video that Dan made, I need you to understand something and listen to this very, very carefully. Dan, you, you said in your video that sin has absolutely nothing to do with love. And this was the biggest thing that I took issue with in your video. For any Christian watching this, sin has absolutely everything to do with love. If you think of love as a Christian, and you think of the greatest example that we've ever seen in human history about the expression of love, what situation would you refer to, or what situation do you automatically think of? I think of the fact that Christ came and died for us because of the reality of our sin, not the absence of it. Sin and love in the Bible are intertwined, and they're both at the heart of the Christian message. If you don't believe that either of those have worth and value, you don't believe in the Christian message. Because it was because of our sin that Christ came to die, because of the reality of it. If it wasn't a reality or something that needed to be dealt with, what was the purpose of him coming and dying in the first place? To save us from sin. If, 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 that, if that doesn't exist, what was the point of him doing that? So I just want to say this. I, I know that it's difficult to, like I said, show love while at the same time taking a stand against sin. But when you diminish or don't treat seriously the reality of sin, you diminish what Christ did on the cross. You completely take away the meaning of it. Because his death was because of us. And the reason that it's the greatest expression of love in human history is because we didn't deserve it. We didn't merit it. We all understand that that's, that's the greatest the greatest example of love is when we don't deserve it. We fall short. We don't merit it at all. That's what love really means. That's where you find the definition of what love is. And to you specifically, Dan, you've said that, uh, you said in your video that, you know, you're not religious. So I, I just want to, I, I want to ask you this because if you're not religious, you know, I'm not sure what that means you believe about God, but how do you even define what love is? You use the term love and hate in your video a lot, and you, you use them as terms that we, we all understand, that you think is a universally understood term, but the reality is that if you put a thousand people in a room, or a million people in a room, and said, Define love for me. Can you define love? How many different answers are you going to get? If we're the standard of how we define these terms, and we all have a million different definitions for how these terms should be defined, how do we have any set definition for anything? Or any definition that's better than another person's? Because if we're all, all there is, and if we're the people that define it, the meaning of any term is just up to whoever defines it. So the reality is that if if you have this stance that to show love to you know homosexuals or anyone in sin means that you don't stand against anything and I say hey Christianity is the is the greatest example that we've ever seen of love in human history but we're the only you know we're the only people that decide that who's right and how do you even determine who's right? I'm going to make another another video here just for a few minutes. But I, I want to leave you with that thought. That if we don't have any set definition for any of these terms, how in the world do we even make videos? And again, why do we even debate anything? It really doesn't make much sense. I'm going to make another part of this video. I will. It's only going to be two parts. And then I'll leave you with that. So thank you. And part two is coming pretty soon. Thanks.